Boxing Ego Quick Hits. Ego? Ego, E-G-O, Boxing Ego. Boxing B-O-X-Y-E-G-O. <laughs> Did you spell it? You that shit. David Morrell will be on the Gervonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia, much anticipated card. That's what I want to talk about. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego in the back with some more boxing. Boxing Ego Quick Hits, where I give you guys less intro, less filler, let's get it. Now, a fighter that I'm really excited for, and that has been the case, is David Morrell Jr. There's an $85 pay-per-view between Ryan Garcia stepping up against Gervonta Davis, April 22nd. It's a mega fight. And to me, the fight card just got better because the co-feature is WBA super middleweight champion David Morrell. He's 8-0. and He has seven knockouts. He really badly hurt his last opponent. His name was Adios or something to that effect to the point where they had to put him in a medically induced coma. I'm glad that his opponent made a full-time recovery. So he will be the co-feature. He's fighting against Santa Egbeko who's 27-2 with 21 knockouts. So I don't know much about Egbeko, but he's an 80% knockout puncher. And I just like watching David Morrell perform. David Morrell also said that after he gets past Egbeko, he fully expects to handle business and, and take care of things with Egbeko. He says he does want to fight bigger names like David Benavidez Jr., so I think this is fully reasonable. Now, oh, media, the haters, they're going to hate. Oh, I'm not paying for this and almost $100. And why is David Morrell not fighting David Benavidez on the card? Stuff that just ultimately is not realistic. Like no other promoter outside of PBC gets held to this standard. I'm here to tell you that. Like top ranked to have a very good fight with Devin Haney and Vasil Lomachenko. It is also on pay-per-view, albeit is a cheaper price point than the fight with Gervonta Davis, but that makes sense for them to price it like that because it's a month after Tank versus Ryan. So they have to be reasonable because a lot of people are going to spend their money on that super fight. So the undercard has Oscar Valdez versus Adam Lopez, which the two already fought each other. And I believe that's the co-feature. So again, PBC gets held to the craziest standards. You know, you look at Joshua on a DAZN matchroom card. Anthony Joshua, meet with me. He just fought against Jermaine Franklin. And the co-feature was, I think, Wardley versus Michael Coffey, who was coming off of a stoppage loss to a PBC guy, right? So, again, the haters going to hate and make it sound like this is crazy and why would we pay $100 and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to it. Again, I'm a big fan of David Morrell Jr. And it's on to bigger and better fights if he comes through this fight. And he's in there with, it looks like on paper, a dangerous puncher, even though his opponent hasn't fought top names or anything like that. So I'm looking forward to it. It just gives me another excuse to support the card. I was already going to buy it, even if it was just Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, because I really want to see that fight right big fight colossal fight is going to have electric crowd celebrities the whole nine they just did an all access and it's over two million views in two days so the anticipation is there and then when you put names like david morrell who's an up-and-comer that i'm really checking for to me it just makes it greater let me know what you guys think of david morrell being added to the gervonta davis card similar to jerron boots ennis was the co-feature of tank's last card with hector luis garcia i like how showtime is given that co-feature slot to people that the fans want to see like Jerron Boots Ennis and David Morrell Jr. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Best in the business. I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. 
hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.